we have bipeds with different spines. We have the motion, the motion capture uh, FBX rig. We have this uh, Chimera preset that I've created for, uh, for Khalid, and it's a beautiful Chimera creature. You can have insects and arachnids like uh, this spider, uh, basic quadrupeds, and of course you can add tails, you can add heads to these uh, rigs. Let's try to, to take a look at this quadruped rig. I'm going to replace this. Okay. So this is basically a quadruped. Let's create a rig. Normally to uh, rig something like that, you need hours. In Genoma, you can do that in seconds, literally. So now we have the roots that can be used to, to move the whole character. We have controls to rotate the spine, controls to rotate the pelvis. And of course, all the controls you need to, to pose the character any way you like. Now, what is cool is that you can use for example, the magnet tool to completely change the shape of the character. This is going to work. I can update the rig. And now I have a completely different creature in my layout. Whoops. Okay. Even in this case, you can rotate. I didn't break anything, and I did this change brutally. I, I mean, without caring about rotations, because layout will take care of, of to find the right rotation to create, to align the, 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 the bone so you can create high key chains and proper controls. So yeah, you can rotate this, or this pelvis motion, and... We even have inverse foot for the legs. It's a pretty complex rig built in seconds. So let's take a look at the model I made for, for Khalid, this great artist. Um, Chimera. I have the Chimera rig. Yeah, this one. No more rig, I have to load the texture. Okay. It's okay. So, this is the beautiful model that Khalid created. It's been sculpted in ZBrush and imported in Lighter using the the GoZ importer. In this model, of course, I can add uh, the model to to show you the Genoma rig. Here it is. This has been uh, built using sub rigs. I started from uh, the quadruped rig, and I added the tail. I added additional spine and head. I had the, the wings to this character, which is pretty complex one. It's, it, it could be really a nightmare to have, to, to rig this kind of character by hand. It could require really hours, if not days. So let's take a look at, at the result here in, in layout. So I still have my, my model, of course. Let's send it to, to layout. And we can create the rig. It will take a little, less than a minute anyway. But finally, we will have our character with bonds ready, with uh, controls ready, with weight maps already defined. 
and assign to the right bonds. Now, of course, we need a little patience, but it's going to happen. This is an incredible complex creature. And here we are. Come on. Don't suffer like that. Yeah. So we got it. Let's slow down the subdivision level of the object because this is a pretty heavy uh, character. But let's take a look at the, the bonds inside the character. I can animate it, compose it without problems. We have tendons here, which are sub rigs you can add in Genoma anywhere in your in your uh, rig to improve the deformations and to add muscles. We have the rear leg here. Of course, we can move the. Sorry, not this one. We can move the wing, rotate it, get all this kind of, of motions. Khalid made an incredible animation with this character that you can see in the videos. We have a cigarette. We can, of course, we have target for for the head and the neck. So, we have really a great power we can use. This, uh, this particular rig is using uh, IQ Booster for the tail. So if I activate IQ Booster, I can grab this control here and animate the tail, which could be important. So this is not an IK booster rig. This is a, a standard lightweight rig with uh, some IK booster controls added, just where needed. Uh, for tentacles, tails, long necks, IK booster can really be a, a huge time saver since we, uh, we're still waiting uh, to implement our uh, IK spline controller that will be implemented too uh, soon and will be of course available in Genoma as everything that will be added to the character animation uh, toolkit in Lightweight. Okay. So I think, oh, we can show another thing. So this was a pretty heavy character for sure. Let's go and let's do things right. Let's define the, our path here. Let's do counter directory. I want to go and genoma and spider rig. Here it is. Okay. Because I want to load the spider. Okay, this creature has been modeled by Luca Giarrettino, a cool, very cool uh, Italian artist. And I built, I built the uh, the rig using Genoma, literally in in one minute using the preset, the Rackknit preset we have. So what I can uh, do is to Export the spider and layout again. We can reduce the subdivision level. And bounding box modes to speed up operations and create rig. This takes less than the chimera character for sure to be generated. It's still a complex character. We have, we have eight complex insect legs. And here we are. It's done controls are ready let's use the add light to see better and the root we can move the root around and rotate it of course take even one, one more than one leg at, at once and get this kind of motion I can 
to this. And move it. Of course, I can rotate the abdomen. Or why not? Just the body. We can do an aggressive, more aggressive pose. Okay. I can move this or on the front. Or why not? Rotate these controls here. So we can really define the position, the pose of the legs. What we can do again, even in this case, is use the magnet tool to do some crazy stuff like this. Again, I can update my rig, bounding box, update. And now I'm getting it, the new creature, rigged. Let's go with the textures. It completely changed just using the magnet tool, but of course the controls are still working everything is still working so this is what i wanted to show you about genoma the new modeling system in lightweight and that's all thank you